Welcome to the Volza tutorial series. In this series, we will explore the Summary and Analysis tab of Volza. So let's get started. First, let's begin by opening a previously saved workspace. Click on my workspace section. Now click on the workspace here. Once we click on the workspace, we're redirected to the Search tab where our initial query was executed and saved. Here is the Search tab where our initial query was executed. So we have checked the Vietnam export for the product rice, as you can see here. Now afterwards, here you can see the Summary tab next to the Shipments tab. We'll start by clicking on this option. So firstly here you can see the Export Performance section. This section provides a comprehensive overview of the total count of shipments for the selected query. The data here is visually represented, allowing you to analyze shipments month-wise, quarter-wise, and year-wise. For example, you might see a total shipment count of 3,230. Next to that, you can check the value of those shipments. Next here, you can find the HS codes associated with the query executed. This data have been analyzed with graphical representations using line charts. And if you want to download this data into Excel, click on the Download button to export the information. Now, let's move on to the Buyers section. Here you can see the count of buyers linked to the specific query. Here you can see the names of these buyers, and to view the complete list, click on the View All option. Now, let's move on to the Supplier section. Here you can see the count of suppliers and the names of these suppliers according to the shipments and value. Now scroll down. After that, you can see the Country of Destination section here. It shows the countries associated with the shipments. Next up here is the Growth Comparison section where you can compare growth in terms of 5-year KGR, 3-year KGR, yearly, year-to-date, and monthly metrics. You can analyze parameters like shipments, value, buyers, export market, port of origin, and port of destination. All these are used for the comparison, allowing you to identify areas of positive and negative growth. After that, let's move to the supply chain analysis section. So, in this section, here you can examine the top suppliers and buyers. The interface provides a clear visualization of the relationships between suppliers and buyers. Moving forward, we look at the product-specific supply chain. Here we can analyze the connections between top importers and exporters are highlighted and categorized by HSN code and product. This allows for a detailed examination of which suppliers are linked to which buyers and their respective HSN codes. The central node here, representing a product like rice, connects to various entities, showing the flow of goods. Now, here you can see the relationships between trading partners, focusing on the import and export dynamics of top trading countries. For instance, Vietnam Northern Pho. From Vietnam is connected with multiple trading partners across different countries. This provides a comprehensive overview of international trade relationships, highlighting key players in the import and export landscape. Next up, let's cover the Analysis tab. So, here, you'll find a ready-to-use pivot table that allows you to slice and dice the data according to your requirements. So click here to load the data for your analysis. On the left column, you can see various options for data manipulation. Selecting options from this column here will update the pivot table accordingly, similar to how pivot tables function in Excel. Now, for example, let's choose the shipper name, consignee, and country of destination here. And here in the same order, you can check the results. In the first order, there is shipper, then the consignee name, and the respective country of destination. Wasn't that amazing? Next up, if you need to add another charts, summaries, or pivot tables as needed by clicking on the appropriate options here, you can do so. So, that was all about the summary and analysis tabs. We have covered all these points comprehensively. These tools are designed to provide you with a thorough understanding of your data, enabling you to make informed decisions. Now, if you need more detailed training on this or any other topic, you can simply schedule a walkthrough with us. Now, for scheduling a walkthrough with us, click on the Schedule a Walkthrough option here. Next, select a convenient date and time for your training session from here. Once that's done, enter your first name and last name. Enter your business email address here. Next, provide your mobile number, including the country code. Specify the topic you need assistance with here. Next up, fill in your company name, once you've filled in all the details, click on the Schedule Your Appointment button. Now, your appointment is booked with one of our support team members. You have received a Zoom invitation and the details of the support member over your registered email ID. Now, if you need instant support from our team, simply click on the Chat Now option here. Drop your queries in the chat, and our dedicated chat support team will provide you with instant assistance.
Alternatively, you can initiate a chat on WhatsApp. Click on the Ask on WhatsApp option here. Next, click on Start on WhatsApp. This will open a chat window on WhatsApp. Now on WhatsApp, also you can communicate directly with our chat support team. Thank you for watching this tutorial. We hope you found it helpful and are excited to explore all these features.